Hey guys, I'm finally filming another video. Today we're going to do sort of like a get ready with me. I hope I can get it done. This is just an experiment. Um, we'll get into it. But we're going to be trying the Pond Lily palette by my friends at Ladybug Glow. This palette is a newer palette. I don't know if there's any of these left anymore. I know she sells out and she's a small business. So she only makes limited quantities of stuff. So let me let you take a look at the color story. There she is. I just want to do something just a little fun. My daughter's being babysat by my mother-in-law or mother outlaw because I'm not married to her son. <laughs> um, I hadn't decided if I want to go for the bog color or if I want to go for this one algae, this green algae color here. They both would match sort of with what I'm wearing today. Um, the purple's not quite the purple I was thinking it was. We're just going to have some fun though. Because I've got some other stuff too that we're going to do. I think I'm just going to go... I think I like bog better. It's not necessarily like exactly the right color. But we're going to have some fun today. So yeah, my mother and my mother-in-law or Andy's mother has got Emma today and she's taking her on a little Momo and Emma date. We have been sick again. I don't know if y'all have been following. Well, my daughter's been sick. I wasn't as sick. I am now, unfortunately. Her dad was sick after my birthday trip. We got back and he he and Emma both had something. He had um shingles and emma had a donna virus which a donna virus is the worst i don't i don't hope, wish that crap on anybody but she got better she still had a cough for like a month after and it was still like we, her waking up from a sleep and and choking and coughing and it being this whole ordeal so yeah, so it's been, it's been rough because that's been every morning. I haven't gotten to, you know, I haven't gotten to really relax and, and chill out. This is actually so much darker than I was thinking it was. We're getting a smoky look right now already and the day's just begun. Okay then, La Marrier. Um, but she still has a cough. Even she, she had a fever early last week. I'm going to try to find it. Maybe I'm going to go in with that algae color after all. I don't know. Should I, should I, should I even attempt to do anything with that? Uh, I think I'm going to use this brush and go into algae a little bit. But yeah, um, so the kid was sick again and we don't really have a lot of recovery time. Honestly, there was just no downtime. It was like she went from one sickness to boom another sickness and because she had that cough all the way along so she was still waking up having a coughing fit coughing and choking and gagging every single night or every morning usually it was usually the night she started sleeping through the night and not waking up and having a gagging fit at some certain point um i think about a week before she started getting whatever it is that she's getting over now but last week on um, I've got a bald spot it's just not wanting to get covered I guess it's just because how far the eye and dents over on this side it's just the eyeshadow is not wanting to stick and it's not this brand I know it's me and I probably didn't put the base down well enough in that corner spot but this spot of my eye always almost because where that fold is always ends up not getting much coverage but yeah, so it's been a lot. She's been sick. I've been taking care of her. Same old thing, different day. Just, it's just been a lot. And I've not been sleeping because you know how it is as a mom or a dad. You guys know how this is. You stay up all night. You worry about your child. And I wouldn't trade having my child for anything. And I see these people who are like, this is why I'm glad I don't have kids. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you don't have kids too. If that's how you feel about it, great. I'm glad you don't have kids either. Uh, but I committed to this. I wanted this and I enjoy my child. You know, sick days don't last all the time. 
sick days are, are small. So for me, it's not a deal breaker. So her being sick, I don't sleep just because I want to make her better. And I can't. And uh, it is common with parents. You want your young to not have to suffer ever. And that's not reasonable, you know, because life is like that. Everybody's going to get sick. Nobody doesn't get sick. You just don't want it for your child. You know, you want better. You want your child to have it easy and be super healthy. And um, I also don't really, I mean, I don't, she doesn't do any super unhealthy things, but I don't really do super healthy things with her either. Um, I started working out with her a little bit and we were doing that for a little while. And then she just started, <laughs> started getting everything in the world. And it was like, when I do try to do more healthy things, I mean, we keep her active and she goes out and she does stuff and stuff like that. But when I do try personally to do healthy things with her, I feel like we get set back. So we have to start at the beginning again. I don't know what this look is. I did use, I did use this color here and I didn't say anything about it. I used this pretty purple color right there called Water Lily. I want some shimmer on my eyes. I do have a shimmer from... Of a shimmer in this box so what i was going to use is the ritual defeat stuff and i do have something in here i was looking at the time um i do have something from them that i got because i got this way back when it was on sale this is that new i got the thorn oil um i got that three drop weightless foundation and i got a concealer and i got two free eyeshadows like potted eyeshadows and there's one that's kind of like a purpley color <coughs> pardon my cough <coughs> um having children when they get sick you get sick sometimes not all the time i like it's funny because andy was talking about the other day he's like oh you say you never get sick but you get sick every now and then. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And I, I, if I said that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that because I do get sick. I don't get sick as, probably as much as him. Or when I get sick, I don't get as sick as him. But I do get sick. Is it this one that I wanted to use? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty. So I want to use this color. What is it called? Which is your name, baby? So this came free. Zavella. And we're going to use Miss Vella on our finger. I love this color. Y'all, this one. What's this other one called? Mm, come on, ice. I can't see it. It's on a colored background and white writing. Cygnus or something like that? I don't know. I, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. This one's kind of a muddy color. Um, but it also, these are like multi-dimensional, um, which I, I do get that a lot from Ladybug Glow. But I just kind of wanted to go with something a little bit different than this one. I wanted to go with this Vela because Vela is like my dream shade. It is um, multi dimensional but it's not oh come on brain my brain is just not you can tell oh, i'm 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 not feeling well because my brain's just not working but i'm gonna put this vela down on the eyelid and i might add some more of the ladybug glow on top of this but i really wanted to use this ritual defeat eyeshadow because it's kind of been grabbing my attention and i've been dying to play with it And if you hear buzzing, it's because I'm getting a lot of text messages from my, um, from Andy's mom sending pictures and stuff. So I can't wait to see those. So I don't know. I might stop filming just to look at those. This is kind of turning into a real smoky eyes. Like, oh, that, there used to be this meme. I'm just going to do simple look today. And then it turns out a, 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 a very smoky eye look. That's, that's me. That's me. I'm going to just be simple with my makeup today. I'm not going to go all out. And then I come out with the mad smoky eye. 
Okay, I want to use these purples. They don't really match this pink purple here called, I think it's Lotus. Lotus, this one right here, it's very glittery. I'm going to use that one. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, what? Are you kidding me right now? It mixes really good with Vela. Wow. Holy crap. I'm going to be too glamorous to be sitting at home. Fighting off a cold. <laughs> Sorry if I snuffle in your ears. I apologize about that. But it has been a lot with these illnesses. All right, I'm going to line the bottom of my eye and then I'm going to real quick, I'm going to try to zoom through the application of this Ritual Defeat and see if really three drops really does it. Now I know this is a brand that Teresa is Dead loves and that's why I've been dying to try it because she has dry skin like me. So, okay, I'm going to use the color, this dark purple here called Iris. We're going to use this one as the liner. There's more messages. Nothing before now, but as soon as we are trying to record a video on my phone, which, you know, I, I really should use my camera. Not really comfortable with the camera, and now it's old. <laughs> it's a couple of years old. But it doesn't, it didn't, like, communicate well with the computer that I had, but I didn't have, like, a media type computer. I just had laptop. My laptop was just one of those that's um, more intended for working in an office. So, of course, it didn't work out with that. Just going to try to line this under eye. And I'm going to try to do the same on the top. Hoping I'm not hitting my mic. This eye is messy because I was trying so hard to get in that little fold of skin that was not accepting color. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. You know, that's always good. She says sarcastically. My throat is so dry with whatever this is. Right now, that's the part that I hate the most. <coughs> I'm just like constantly feel something in there. My daughter hates that too. That was what she hated about it. I don't know where I'm going to put this for now. We're going to put you down, pal. I'm going to put you right here, even though you don't really belong there. We're just going to put you there because I don't know what else to do. I'm going to put Vela back. And then we're going to use the thorn oil. Okay, so here's thorn oil. Now, Teresa is dead, recommends this. She has very dry skin like me. I have dry skin. I have eczema. She has a lot of the same conditions. Look how pretty this is. It's just been sitting around. I'm going to shake her up. I've not used an oral oil primer in a while since the one that Jaclyn Hill made. And that one was cute. That was a moment. We love her. I'm going to put those back. Um, I'm going to try this thorn oil. I don't know how many drops are you supposed to use. I guess as many as it takes. Uh, well, we'll give it a go. My skin might love it or it might hate it. We'll see. I'm going to give it a go. Let's put it on the top of my hand, I guess. For now, I'm not going to fully close it. I'm just going to take it and place it on the face on my most dry spots. Oh, it smells good. It smells like heaven. It's very oily. You're like genius, genius, Lemurier, genius. I'm just pop it. Key spots on my face. It's so weird to be rubbing oil on my face, but it, oh gosh, it does kind of smell like roses. 
I don't like it. Like, not like a fake rose, but like a rose rose. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's rosy, but it's not, um, it still doesn't smell exactly like going and smelling a rose. Nothing smells like a rose. I'm sorry. You can't make that scent perfected without going up to a rose and smelling it that's there's nothing more perfect than the smell of rose as a rose <laughs> all right this is a very dark look i've got on my eyes i'm still not used to it. but that's the thorn uh the thorn oil i like this it smells so good i'm gonna put that over here so i don't forget that i have that and i think i'm gonna do the concealer next i've never used a concealer like this or not since look it comes in this little slide out tray I got the lightest color they had on everything. My hands are so greasy from the thorn oil. <laughs> um, but it is a putty type. Now it's very yellow looking in the pan. Let me find myself a good little concealer brush. I think my KVD concealer brush would be perfect for this. Or do I want to use this one, the Gimme Glow one? I have this cute little Gimme Glow concealer brush. Let's use that. So we're just gonna pop it in there. Get all those little dark spots that I get. So you most of these dark spots that aren't caused by the makeup are caused by not sleeping much. Sick kid, not sleeping much. This is actually a really nice concealer. I've never heard anybody talk about this concealer before, but I've heard them talk about, you know, clearly um, about the oil. And then I did see Teresa's review of the drops, the three drop foundation. This is a good concealer, man. I think it would be real good to cut the brows with, which I'm going to do a little later on. But basically, we're not here for this, right? <laughs> we're not supposed to be, this is not what this review is supposed to be about. So let's get into this foundation. I this is nice. I can't wait to play with that a little more. I'll put you over here. Let's try this foundation. Now, supposedly, it's only three drops. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't really have... I'm going to use... I need a foundation brush that I trust, so I'm going to use this one. So, shake it up. I got the lightest, coolest color that I saw. Mine is what shade? Of course, I don't know where my glasses are. But if you can see that. So, yeah, we're going to try this. Oh, it's got it on here. No, it doesn't. I thought it would have it on there. Does it have the name on there anywhere? It tells you where to, how to use it. It has the name here too, I think. But anyhow. All right. It says press me up here. So, three drops. So, one two and three okay i cheated a little bit i got some off the bottle but it's very runny so that's interesting ah! my hands are still greasy come on the marrier get it together let's just pop it down all over the face And I'm just using my fingers right now. 
just to stipple it in a little bit with my fingers. I have a lot of red spots, redness on my face. It smells good too. Still has kind of like an oily smell, but I don't know how to, what an oily smell is. I don't know what I mean by that, but you know, it's got a smell. Then I'm going to use this KVD um, foundation brush. Couldn't remember. This is from the Good Apple Serum, or not Serum Foundation, the Good Apple Foundation, the Balm Foundation. I love the Balm Foundations. So I thought maybe this might be fun to play with. And it's not drying at all. I've never had a whole lot of success with the oil foundation. But this has really got some good coverage. Usually oil foundations, the ones that I've tried, don't really have much coverage and they're runny and gross. And this one's a little runny, but I mean, it is an oil foundation, right? But the coverage is really there and she's dewy. And I love a dewy moment. Is there any dry, dry, parched lady? Under my chins. So far, looking so good. I'm still going to need to touch up some of the other stuff, but that's really, that's really nice. This is really, I mean, it, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. I am impressed. I am very impressed. It's doing exactly what it says it's going to do. So there's that. Um, that's all for the Ritual Defeat. I do want to use a blush. Is this too purple? Is that too purple? This is a Ladybug Glow Blush. This is in the shade... What is your name, baby? It is... Mauve... Mauve and Rose. Mauve and Rose. So I do love a good mauve blush. I'm going to use a little brush for that. I'm just going to put a little on here, on the cheekies. I just love the glow that this uh, foundation has. Of course, those uh, dark circles that I have that I'm working are really fighting the makeup. This might be too much blush. I don't know. There's such a thing as too much blush. I know there is, right? And I do want to do like a nice bold eyeliner. We're going to go back and visit that concealer because I want to put a little bit around the top of this to kind of cut out the eyeshadow look to just, you know, clean it up a little bit. And kind of try to do away those dark circles a little bit because they are crazy right now. They're competing. Now, I did see that Thorn Oil or the Ritual Defeat does have like some really good blushes and stuff. I want to try more with it, but I just wanted to try this out and see if it was something that was interesting to me and if I felt like it was doing anything for me. And I do. I really like it so far. I'm going to use my little blending brush to blend out this blush, especially around the nose area. We'll play a little bit more with that blush later. I'm going to put all that over here. Let's get that concealer. And I'm going to get a good little brush to cut out the brow area with. I use this little brush. I love this concealer being in a little compact like that. Even though my hands are greasy and it's shiny and slippery, I still really like it. So we're going to take this and I'm going to put it on this brush. I'm just going to try to cut close to here because I get these dark, horrible, dark circles here. And I also want to kind of clean up because it does look a little muddy. I am not a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be. I just am an enthusiast. I really love makeup. And I love playing with it. It makes me feel confident. Sometimes. <laughs> This is a good concealer. I'm very pleased with this concealer. It's it's doing its job. Okay, let's go on this side because this side was where the disaster zone was the most at. So we're gonna go in here. Just 
I don't know. I think that thorn oil is so good that everything is not as dry and drying as it would be normally. Because everything dries me up and my skin up. I'm just going to take it on my finger. I'm just going to pop it down under here. My nails need to be done. Please don't be staring at my nails. They're awful. I do my own nails, so... Between all of what's been going on, I've not been doing a good job with them. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. That looks better. I still think I need some eyeliner and um, lashes and stuff. Um, I also want to do like a check-in and tell you guys how this is going. So you may see me back later with my daughter. Ooh, before I go, I'm going to play with this lipstick. Not that it, it, the look is complete. It's nowhere near being complete. But this is a lipstick from Ladybug Glow. It's the shade Diane. You could, I think you could still get it. I don't know. But it's like a nice subtle color. I don't know if it's matching in any way, but a little color on the lips never hurt anybody. She's a little orangey than I thought in person. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know if she's 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 a mood for this. I don't think she's fit in my mood for this, but she's very pretty. Normally, yes, but I'm I'm very leaning into to Elvira territory today, and this um, lippy is beautiful. But I don't know. Do you guys think it goes? I don't know. We'll be back later. I'll be completely done. My makeup will be completely done. My child will probably be here somewhere. And yeah, we'll talk more about this virtual defeat. See you later. Bye. So yeah, so I finally finished the look. I used this. You guys saw me use this palette. This is the Pond Lily palette by Ladybug Glow. I did play with some of these from virtual defeat. I played with the... Okay, brain is not working. The Vela color. And it was really, really cute. Then I went in and put on mascara, did a little bit more on the brows and on the inner corners of my eyelids. And then on the top of my brow bone, I used some more Ladybug Glow. I used Cotton Candy, which is a lovely, lovely pink, like light pink color. Let me show you what this highlighter looks like. I used that on my cheeks and on the inner corner of my eye. I'll do a little swatch on my finger. That's what that looks like on the back of the hand. That's what she looks like. There's a little bit on my cheeks. I don't even know if it's showing up anymore, but the makeup itself is, you know, stayed strong, still dewy looking, still fresh. The other color that I went in with, cause I did the, the cotton candy first and then over the top of the cotton candy I put in dreamy which that is the innermost corner of the inner corner of my eye <laughs> and it's like a uh, beigey white color I'll swatch that for you as well so I have those two colors as the inner corner of my high um, inner corner highlight and I didn't use this one at all, but I have this one. This is Rose Petal from Ladybug Glow. So I have three of their high, well, four, if you count the one that I got from Murky Waters. So I've got quite a bit of Ladybug Glow products, and I just really wanted to use them and talk about them today because they're really beautiful products. And I think that she's got some more stuff now. She's got some lip glosses that are like the um, multi-chrome. I couldn't think of the word multi-chrome earlier being fighting something you know brain's just not wanting to work and being tired and all that uh but yeah she's got some multi-chrome lip glosses that are gorgeous right now i, I can't i can't afford it right now i have things to do <laughs> bills to pay my kid's been sick a lot so that means i've been going to the doctor a lot so also she starts school next month uh the 20 something of next month and she's in a um private school I'll think of it later charter school she's in a charter school so they have uniforms and stuff like that so a lot of my money and my time's been going towards getting that ready but um I just to talk about the other products used the virtual defeat the three drop 
weightless serum foundation this stuff is amazing i really love this i mean it really it doesn't take much just three little tiny little drops the the uh ritual defeat thorn oil now i've heard Teresa's dead talk about this over and over and over again and often wondered if it was any good it's amazing there is a smell is if you're not sensitive to scents there is a rose scent to it so that may not be for everybody but I think it's beautiful. It it works wonderful. Like my skin feels moisturized. It's the first time in a long time that I don't feel crusty. I'm sorry, I hate using that word, but I don't feel crusty. I don't feel like my, you know, you, if you take a really close look at this part under my eye, this is where I get the most dryness is right in this area right here. There's like a little dry patch. You don't even really see it sorry look how big my nose looks that's great fish eye lens man but like yeah you don't even see any dry patchy grossness so there's that and on this side you don't see it either this side doesn't get it as bad it's just this side that gets it real bad um, but you don't see that, so that's really nice. I really think that these two products work really great together. As far as the concealer goes, it did kind of like fold up a little bit underneath my eyes, but that's just because it's concealer's makeup. It's going to do that. It's going to get in the creases. It's, you know, it sits on top of your skin that only makes sense for that to do that. I wasn't really particularly crazy about the color. It leans very yellow for me. Um, it's not quite a true white but they say that that yellow does good for people who are trying to cover i think like green undertones i don't know it it, it wasn't really it's not really covering the the undertones in my skin i would need something a little bit more i think like a pink base or something like a rosy base would probably do a little bit better but you live and you learn i i think it's a really great product and i do enjoy it uh, it's not as moisturizing as I typically enjoy on a concealer, and I'm not a big-time concealer person. I really am not. <laughs> but if I'm going to go for concealer, my two favorite concealers right now is the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant and the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. These two are excellent. They are both very moisturizing. They make me excited to wear a concealer, which is very, very rare. The only other one that I think is as good is the e.l.f. Uh, their Radiant that they've had a lot longer than anybody else has had theirs. Um, I know a lot of people talk a lot about the Kosas, which I think is good, but I think it's one of those that's very yellow. They they all lean yellow, all the Kosas, the whole entire Kosas brand, like their whole, you know, their whole complexion products, their whole line is known for <clears throat> leaning yellow. And, and that that's, you know, that's not untrue. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I really had fun playing with makeup. It's been a first, the first time in a really long time that I've sat and played with makeup. And I really enjoyed all of these products. But definitely this, this three drop weightless serum foundation is probably my new favorite foundation so and the thorn oil is probably my new favorite too so i'm excited it's the middle of summer and normally people would be like uh you know i don't really need all that moisture but my skin sucked it up like it's it's you can't tell that i'm wearing like basically serum and oil foundations on my skin it just looks like my skin and that to me is amazing that's amazing. That doesn't happen to me. I've been looking cakey lately because as I get older, makeup just sits on my skin and not in an attractive way. It's just, yuck, you know, but not with this brand. And I'm so excited to have found them and I want, you know, and not that she'll ever watch it or it'll ever get back to Teresa's dead, but thank you, Teresa. You have made a fan out of me like i am so excited <laughs> i'm so excited to be using these products it's nice to not only have some concealers that i'm excited to use but some foundation again i mean maybe this this and the uh i think the only other one that i love as much as i like this one is the kvd balm foundation and even that can get a little bit cakey on me depending on the day but i wonder if i use this as the primer if that would be the case i wonder if they're compatible together i should go back and look at Teresa's videos and see if she used this with good apple um bomb foundation so yeah 
very very good very very excited and um these little eyeshadows that i got free i swatched this red and green one it's so pretty swatched and this is what i'm wearing on my eyes um and and it's beautiful this purpley pink color that's on my lid is beautiful this pond lily palette of course i love my uh ladybug glow and i'm excited because blair he's coming out with his very own palette for halloween and i can't wait to see what it is but i can't wait on this palette i want to play more with these two colors here so that'll be fun i did play with these two i i played with like i utilized a lot of the palette i ended up using the color bog i used algae i used I used a little bit of Water Lily. This is Water Lily and a little bit of Iris. I used, um, what is that one called? With those lights shining on it. So right, Lotus. This Lotus color, the glitter up there. Um, and yeah, that, that's about it. I didn't really go crazy with the glitters. Although, this Tadpole color, I'm going to stick my finger in it. Tadpole looks multidimensional. Ooh, yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see how she looks swatched next to these highlighters. And that's just one bare, like barely in there swatch. Let's do a second pass. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow, definitely multi, multi-chrome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Ladybug Glow. I say, if you're interested, if you're curious, go try them. You won't be disappointed. And I'm not just saying that because Amanda is my friend, but because it's really good quality. And and I've always trusted Amanda to know quality. She's one of the ones that got me interested in some of the higher end palettes, like the Natasha Denona palettes. And I swear to God, between Ladybug Glow and Natasha Denona, those seem to be the only eyeshadow palettes I'm ever wearing lately. So they're really, really good. So she knows her stuff. You know, she's been a connoisseur of makeup for a very long time. And now she's making her own brand. And I found out, uh, I think from one of my um, group chats with one of my friends, well, with Blair, um, that she knows one of the girls that makes another brand. And that uh, there's some other things going on. So if you're interested... Go ahead and check out Blair Dale, um, MUA, on Instagram and Ladybug Glow. Those are both two brands to follow and or two accounts to follow if you want to have a good grasp on what's coming out and what's available with this brand and just to watch them. And as far as Ritual of Fee, I think they've grown a little bit. They're an indie company, but they've grown a lot. So yeah it was a lot of fun and i hope you guys enjoyed this review i don't know when i'm going to get to do another one hopefully my daughter will stay well for another couple of weeks until school starts but then i'm sure once school starts there'll be activities and hopefully her immune system will be built up a little bit but i'm sure she'll get sick again because she'll be around new kids and new germs and stuff but i appreciate you guys for watching this video thanks for hanging in and i love you guys so much i love you pieces and I appreciate you being here and coming back time after time to see what I've got going on and what I'm into. So, yeah, thank you very, very much. I love you guys. Peace out, homies. Bye.